What it do? Happy Sunday, Self Love Sunday. It is your girl, Tara Chantel, and I just want to thank Elevate Health for this amazing platform to bringing us together, bringing us in alignment with one another. It's about to be a fun day. It's about to be a fun topic because I want us to talk about self-development. We don't normalize self-development. And I think it's time for us to normalize self-development out here. How are y'all feeling? Self-love Sunday. Self-development goes in all different areas from mental spiritual and physical and if you want to focus on self-development that means you got to unlearn and relearn a lot of different things and that's why we should normalize it because dealing with the old bad habits we got to get rid of it y'all i was just trying to get rid of all of the old photos on my phone and that just showed me like wow i got to get rid of things to have a bigger storage a bigger capacity to obtain in my phone and i'm just saying that in real real scenario like wow we have to get rid of all the toxic energy we got to get rid of a lot of baggage we got to dump out the trash in order to renew ourselves in order to learn new things we got to get rid of a lot of bad habits and of course, we sometimes are not even mindful of the bad habits, like eating bad, cussing, the terrible music that is playing on the radio, the things that we watch in reality shows. These are things that plays a role in our subconscious mind that we overlook on a daily day basis. And what if we cut out the toxic things that plays a huge role in our life and that can cause us to upgrade our self-development and that is what we should normalize self-development because i feel like once we normalize self-development y'all that is a game changer because that is going to have us creating our own lane and once you create your own lane there is no competition you are not merging into anybody else's lane because you have created your own lane you have created your own opportunities you have created a platform for yourself a stability for yourself now you can put your people on now you can put your people in position to eat because you have created an opportunity for yourself. Now you are a blessing to other people. But that causes you to have self-development. You gotta, you gotta really get in the game plan of focusing on how can I grow mentally, physically, and spiritually so I can be a blessing to other people. So I can put other people in a position to win. Because once we realize that it is no competition, everybody eats over here, we are gonna collaborate. We're gonna come together and realize that we are a team and we need each other out here. Like I need y'all, I need Elevate Health. We are in this together because that's how we're gonna grow. Sky's the limit over here, baby. So what if we all get on our self-development tip? That's what I'm talking about. Because if we focus on our spiritual mind, our physical body and our mental stability so we are gaining knowledge each and every day we have to gain new knowledge i only listen to podcasts i listen to motivation i listen to things that inspire me i do not listen to the rap music that is mainstream because that that's not uplifting me whatsoever and once i cut out all that dead noise y'all I feel more upbeat. I feel like I'm learning every single day. My mind is expanding. I feel more knowledgeable out here. I'm able to hold conversations. That's crazy to me once I cut out the noise, once I unlearn what I was used to. And another thing, I don't watch TV. And this is all going, going to the stage of self-development. Hey, I'm trying to tell y'all, we got to normalize self-development on here <laughs> on this self-love Sunday because once we normalize self-development, that is how we're going to start investing into ourselves. It is so important 
to invest into you. Whether it's financially, whether it's spiritually, whether it's emotionally, whatever area you feel like you deserve that you need to invest in, you need to do it. It's not just investing into it with your pockets. It's investing into it spiritually, mentally, and physically out here. Today's topic is self-development. And I feel like once we start developing knowledge to ourselves, gaining the tools and the skills we are then going to create opportunities and then that's how we're going to be in our own lane and that's how we're going to stay in our own lane and never merge over to anybody else's because it's no competition when you are working on yourself and this is a constant process self-development is not like okay i'm gonna just do this for two weeks and we're gonna be good <laughs> this is a lifelong commitment and it's all about sacrifices a lot of people try to compare one's blessing to another, but you don't know what people are doing behind the scenes. I'm going to let it be known. If my behind the scene matches how I live in front of the camera. I talk it. <laughs> I'm about that life because it matches. That's why the blessings will continue to overflow because my actions speak louder than my words. You feel me, sis? You feel me? It causes sacrifices. This, this is just the tool of it all we can compare our blessings to another but you don't know what people are doing behind the scenes a lot of people's behind the scenes don't match up people not living right physically emotionally and mentally so what if we get on the tip of living right living righteous out here it's crazy to me that the ratchet gets the praise and the righteous just get looked at or shamed it's twisted we live in a very twisted society now and it's okay to live right. It's okay to live righteous. It's okay to be a blessing. It's okay to work on you. That's why we got to normalize self-development. They didn't teach us this in school. They didn't teach us how to work on you mentally, physically, emotionally. They taught us about his story and found out that's all a lie. That history is all a whitewashed history, brainwashing system. So what if we take the tools that we have learned and put it all into self that will cause us to do a lot of self development <laughs> we gotta normalize working on you because once you work on you now you are creating opportunities for other people and now you putting your people on you putting your people in a position to eat out here you putting your people in a position to win because you put yourself in a position you sacrifice yourself you made a huge sacrifice to your life and realizing this is bigger than me so let me work on me physically emotionally and mentally so i can be ready for war because right now we are in spiritual warfare. That's why I am not phased of what's going on. Y'all, we gonna be in this for 36 months. This is not just gonna be overnight. They are enforcing laws that we have to wear these masks. And you know what? You gotta think for yourself out here. You have to be able to think for yourself and realize what is your intuition? What is your inner God telling you? My inner God telling me something ain't right. Something smelling fishy up in here. And that is just me taking the knowledge of doing the self-discovery of myself. I cut out the noise. I cut out the trash. I stopped listening to the mainstream hip-hop. I stopped watching TV. So now, once I'm in my own thoughts, I'm not scared to be alone. I'm not scared to tackle my demons. I'm able to sit still and enjoy stillness and enjoy the solitude because I have been doing the self-development to get here. God has been preparing me for quarantine because I've been practicing my behind the scenes to match my on-screen presence. You can't just talk it. You got to live it. If you're not living what you're talking about, that's confusing. You got people out here confused. So what if we start normalizing self-development and focusing on our spiritual growth, our mental growth, and our physical body? Because you are not going to be phased about this virus if you are physically taking care of yourself. 
If you are spiritually in tune with yourself and you are mentally prepared for the spiritual warfare that we are enduring right at this moment. This is not a game, people! <laughs> uh, they are out here trying to feed us lies, but if you are not building up your own mind out here, you can get corrupt and they will you will end up doing monkey see monkey do and just being following suit and being told what to do and thinking this is okay because this is a new ward order that they are trying to enforce i am not phased with what's going on because the self-development process is real taking the time for you caring for yourself making sure that you are good before anything else it's okay to learn new skills. It's okay to relearn and unlearn a lot of different things because finding out at this adult stage that I am in right now, finding out all of my childhood is a whole lie. They didn't teach us nothing about self-love in school. They didn't teach us nothing about self-development because they knew if we tapped into our powers, if we tapped into our highest self, if we tapped into our most authentic self, we will be unstoppable. We will then create our own opportunities instead of looking for a job. We will then put our other people on position, put our people in position so we all can eat out here. We will then come together in unity. We will then collaborate. We will then not view anybody as competition and only view ourselves as competition because we are only standing in our own way. Yes, sis, it's okay to put yourself first. And we are the only ones standing in our way. Once we get out of our own way, and start learning about ourselves. Gaining the knowledge, gaining the tools, and gaining the resources to obtain this spiritual warfare that we're in because it is not gonna go away. This is not just, you know how they were saying, okay, just give it two weeks, give it two weeks. That was just a little pet kitten for us to shut up for a bit. No, baby. We in this because everybody is follow suit. Everybody is not having a mind for their, their own and everybody thinking this is okay. Everybody is thinking this is okay. This is, we have to wait for a vaccine in order to live our life again. Have your own thoughts, have your own mind for yourself. Focus on the three things that we were talking about today, spiritually, mentally and physically once you tap into that for your self-development you will then be able to be calm cool and collected out here your anxiety is going to be very low because your frequency is high you at a high vibration you at a high level in life you at a higher level out here and you're not phased off of what's going on because you've been focusing on self-development we have to normalize self-development and we have to get out of our own way. We have to get rid of the self-doubt. We have to get rid of the noise. We have to get rid of things that are taking us away from our truest self. Because once we tap into our truest self, that is a great form of self-expression. Mental fitness is important during this time. I'm telling you. And we can't be so wrapped up in the media because that ain't helping our mental. That is honestly draining us spiritually, physically, and emotionally. So get used to silence. Get used to stillness in this time because then that is going to get you closer to the truth. Because once you realize the truth, and step out of the matrix. You see things at a bird's eye view. You see the bigger picture in all this. You see where we're going in life. And you are spiritually prepared for this spiritual warfare that we're in. They are trying to incorporate a new ward order. If you don't have self-development and the awakening to oneself, you are going to follow suit and you, they are going to stress you out. You're going to have these people stressing you out, trying to figure out what is going on because they don't know. They don't even know what's going on. So imagine that. You out here seeking answers from people who don't even know. They don't know what's going on. 
So focus on this time. Focus on self-development. Focus on learning new skills. Focus on learning you. Every day is something new. Every day is a new venture, a new idea, a new present moment to get more in tune with yourself and starting to love yourself. The war is the mind. I'm telling you, that subconscious mind will play tricks on us, sis. And especially if we indulge into this media, if we indulge into the news, if we indulge into the drama of reality TV, if we indulge into the toxic music that are is not uplifting whatsoever, girl, we're going to be out here looking a hot mess. They going to have us looking a hot mess. They want us to be out here not being able to breathe, walking around with a mask at Walmart. That's what they want. They don't want us to breathe out here. We got to be able to breathe this fresh air. We can't be scared to breathe. I'm so sick and tired, sick and tired of hearing people scared to breathe. God did not make us to live this life in distress like this. 2020 is truly a blessing in disguise depends on how you look at it if you are taking the time to gain the knowledge gain the tools and gain the resources to better yourself you will see the bigger picture of what's going on up your spiritual game develop your spiritual your spiritual mind oh yes and also tackle the self-doubt tackle the demons whatever your mind will play tricks on you. My mind be trying to tell me I'm not doing enough. I be like, honey child, you know what? You gonna be good today. You feel me? And be okay with resting. Be okay with being in silence. Be okay with being alone. Be okay with enjoying yourself on this journey. You gotta live with you at the end of the day. So then... Once you enjoy you, you are then going to create opportunities for yourself, create opportunities for the community, and start investing into yourself. You are the biggest investment you can do. Invest your time into you. Invest your finances into you. Invest your learning into yourself. Get the tools. YouTube University is my best friend. Courses. Google. BFF forever. They all here to help us. This self-love Sunday was so necessary. It's going to put us in a better position once we gain the self-development to better ourselves, better the humanity, and gain the knowledge, gain the tools, and gain truth to ourselves. Let's walk in our truth. Let's normalize self-development. Let's normalize self-love. Let's normalize saying no more. Let's normalize the good things in life that we've never been taught. We've been taught all the wrong things all this time, and it's time to unlearn and relearn all this junk and get rid of the junk food. Get rid of the trash. Take it out. Dump it out. Because it's not necessary and we need to renew our mind, renew our soul, and renew our spirit. This was very motivating. Thank you for your pure and inspiring happy self-development day. Yes! I love you guys. I don't want to take too much more of your time on this self-love Sunday. Y'all, tap into that indigo water. Tap in to Take the Lead podcast. Tap in the Self Love Manual. Tap in the Bag Talk Session. And tap in to Tara Chantel's Instagram. That is me. <laughs> Tara Chantel, connect with your girl. I appreciate you guys for joining me on this Self Love Sunday. I appreciate Elevate Help for this amazing platform. I'm sending you guys lots of love. I'm sending you guys a true warrior mentality to tackle this week. Don't let Corona take you out. Don't let the lies take you out. Y'all stay strong out here. Keep a high hopes, keep a high spirit, and you guys are able to do anything if you set your mind to it and you start doing the self-development because you're going to be unstoppable out here. One love.